Hello and welcome to Attention Central Texas. I'm your host, Charles Jenkins, and in the studio with me, we have Mr. Fred Livers and Ms. Lavette Livers, and they are elders with Tri-Unity Ministries, Inc. Hello and welcome to today's show. Hi, sir. How are you? Thank yes, you. yes. Let's uh, jump right into the questions. Tell, tell us a little bit about Tri-Unity Ministries. At Tri Unity, we are a nonprofit organization. Uh, we do basically marketplace ministry throughout the community. Uh, we do various events throughout the community uh, um, to bring the body of uh, Christ together, the whole body of Christ, not just in the four walls of the church. Uh, the Lord spoke to us and said, "The everyone is my children. The sure. homeless are my kids. The the uh, addiction, the addicts are my kids. The uh, everyone is my uh, my children." So to bring my children back unto me. So that's what we're doing. We're trying to build a, uh, um, the community where we, everyone can relate to one another. And even with working with the homeless to, to, to help establish homeless back into society. So we work with the homeless. We work with various uh, other um, avenues th uh, throughout the community of Killeen. One of the things is uh, what we had to do was find out what is the need in the community. Mm. So that's what we began to do. We began to do marketplace ministry through uh, outside the, the four walls of the church. That's good. And speaking, I know you mentioned events. What are some of your upcoming events right now for 2019? Our upcoming events are currently that's coming up. We just received all the applicants uh, for their scholarships. Uh, we have the, the Gift Within program, the, the Night of uh, Ministry for the youth throughout the community, where we also be uh, presenting the scholarships uh, to participants who actually won the scholarships. And then uh, that's the 3rd of August. Uh, at the, it's going to be held at the Colleen Arts and Activity Center. And then we have the uh, men's conference, a community-wide men's conference, where we have local pastors that will be also printing. We'll also bring in Dr. Earl Johnson in as well for a men's community conference for uh, Colleen. All right. And what uh, do you, are you familiar with some, what are the, some of the scholarships you guys are offering? Well, we're excited to have six scholarships that we're able to award this year. Uh, one of our biggest one that uh, we're going to actually award is the Scholarship of Grace. It is military affiliated uh, dependents who are able to apply for that scholarship. All of our scholarships actually are for our local uh, seniors, 2019 seniors. And so the ISDs in the local area, the Central Texas area, were able to apply for them. Uh, but again, the Scholarship of Grace is a $1,000 scholarship we have. Uh, another scholarship that we also have is a high achiever. They must have a 3.5 or higher GPA. Uh, this year, we're, we brought on a Paul Teasley Fine Arts Scholarship, right. uh, and that's a big passion uh, of mine is just showing how fine arts are a way to also minister uh, unto the people. And so we do have a $1,000 scholarship for someone who's interested in continuing right. in college with a fine arts gift. We also have a new scholarship this year, Michelle Ross Scholarship. It's for someone who in their senior year had 40 hours hours of community service, so that was definitely a big one in their senior year. And then we have also the Household of Love Scholarship, which is for someone who lives in a single parent household. That one is a $500 scholarship. And also the First Generation Scholarship is a $500. Oh. They're the first in their, gener first in their family uh, to actually go to college. And from both of you, why, why is it important to give out these scholarships? Well, because I know when I went to school, there wasn't any funding for me to go to school. And so in the Lord placed in our hearts that uh, we've been given out scholarships, but not as a form of a ministry. We did it individually, where we would bless someone with a laptop or help them out in some uh, form or fashion. The Lord just blessed it into our hearts to give back into the community. And so now our, our, our actual goal is that one, one year that we'll probably, uh, our desire is to give out four scholarships for they will have a full ride. Mm. And so that's the ultimate goal as we continue to, um, to do fundraisers and we continue to solicit for monies that come in for the community to give out to our kids for scholarships. A lot of them has a desire to go to school, but don't have the means to go to school. And to see a child and you see all their, um, their excitement and they will to want to go, but they just don't have the means to go. Mm. And so that's, that's our heart's passion. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. The gift within. The youth night. Tell us a little bit about that. 
Oh, I'm excited about this because it's been something that's been really just stern, you know, for so many years. And and the vision God gave me for the Youth Night of Ministry is that our young people can come that's and right. actually minister using those fine arts gifts. And oftentimes we do it in some churches um, that we allow our youth to use their gifts. But we want it to be a community-wide event where other youth can see some of the gifts and talents of someone right here in their community and also for our adults to come out. Oftentimes I see the bleachers field at a football game yeah. or the <laughs> basketball game and I just want uh, we just pray that we can have the community come out and you know that we'd have to say you know what we're at our capacity uh, because we can that our young people can see the support that yes. the community is given and saying yes continue on in that gift that you're serving God you're ministering to, to God's people and to someone who may not come in a church that this is a way to minister to someone about God's goodness and the gospel Amen. so it's <laughs> It's just a big passion, so I'm looking forward to it. As you were talking, this little analogy came. The, when, when, when you have a baby getting ready to walk, mm -hmm. you know, the baby stands up, everybody cheers. When he falls, yeah. they cheer for him to get up again. Mm -hmm. And I think as kids get older, the cheering stops, mm -hmm. and it needs to be definite. Mm -hmm. Because when kids feel that, you know, I can do this, and I got a group of people surrounding me, encouraging me to do it, it encourages you to keep on. And I know you have a passion for the youth. <laughs> tell us a little bit about, I know you're burning over there. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about that passion. Well, you, you know, as, uh, as a father, and you, as you stated, you gave the analogy about the, ba the child walking. When you see these kids and you see the talents, you see the gifts that they have, but they get no exposure. Mm. And so our desire is to bring them exposure. So even the colleges, we even soliciting the colleges that come out, the representatives that come out to see these kids. Yes, we get it in the sports, but in the areas of where gifting and, and talents are in, in fine arts, there's not that many. Mm -hmm. And so to see those kids, you, you see them in the church and they sing. You see them as they play. You see them as they do, uh, even with mine. Uh, but the, uh, uh, the thing is to get the people throughout the community to see the talents that the kids have, where they'll be able to see them on the street. I saw you perform. You were excellent to encourage them. And that's all it is, just encouraging mm -hmm. our kids to continue to let them know that they're, they're not strange, <laughs> that they are special and God made them special and have them continue to do the things in, in Christ that they have been so long to do to express themselves. And a lot of times they don't get the opportunity to do it. Mm -hmm. Who can participate in this? Who do, who do y'all want to, I know you want the parents and the kids, but how can the community get involved with you guys in, in helping put this on? We'd like to um, have some of the local churches to actually bring their youth or we have an application online if okay. they want to participate. And again, that's just for the participations. Um, but when it comes to attendees, everyone, we're, we're asking for adults and um, our students to come out. Uh, there is a cost uh, mm -hmm. for attendees. It's $10 for our adults and then the students ages 5 uh, on to 18 if they are still a student uh, will be five dollars okay. uh, and so that's just to pour back into the ministry some of the expenses that that's we good. have but yes we're looking for uh, the the young people as young as as five years old who <laughs> may want to be a part of uh, the gift within so participants are definitely welcome and when it we also have included some of our college students as well cool. to participate because sometimes that's the age where we kind of you know lose that yeah. that group but we want to keep them as well involved <laughs> so we do have uh, some of those college age students who are I, also and I think the mm -hmm. key is what you just said keeping them involved because yeah. when you go to college sometimes you feel like you're in an island mm -hmm. if, especially if you don't have a personality <laughs> of reaching out to people you right. can find yourself mm -hmm. and it pushes you away from the faith because mm -hmm. that's one of the big areas you see people fall off from right. high school to college they fall off in faith yeah. because they have no one pushing them or mom or dad over them. Uh, I don't want to end without talking about this event. 
Adam, where art thou? Tell us about the, the men's conference, and I know you touched on the speakers, but mm -hmm. who are the speakers this year? The speakers are for Adam, where art thou conference is uh, leading out on Friday, starting out on Friday is uh, Pastor Chad Rowe from Destiny Outreach Ministry. Okay. And then we will be having uh, on that Saturday, uh, Dr. Earl Johnson's from Ontario, California, who's well known here in Colleen as well. We'll be doing uh, uh, several sessions here on, on that morning on, in teachings. And then we have some of our local pastors, Pastor Gilchrist um, uh, as well as one of the speakers that will be doing some of our breakout sessions as okay. well. So we're looking forward to the, the, the Adam War Out There. Adam War Out There is uh, a calling back to men as God called out to Adam. Um, mm. He knew where Adam was. But Adam didn't know exactly where he was. <laughs> That's good. So for men to come back to reestablish, uh, uh, to reestablish relationships, even not if they already have a or we already have a relationship, to improve a relationship with God, to also to see and uh, to have fellowship with our fellow brethren that throughout the community. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a local uh, uh, church-wide uh, event; it's a community-wide event, um, and it's just for the pouring back into men. Because we, the, the, uh, the men are the heart of the community, whether we want to believe it. We bash our men, we bash our men a lot because we don't do this, we don't do this. But there's some great men that are out mm -hmm. there. And there are some that just, just need an urge uh, to do what I'm or saying that I have. You take the excuse out of a man, they have no way to turn but to the truth. Mm. So, but that's the thing, but when we're getting men to come back to God, if you've ever been in an area where you just see men just worshiping God, I mean, the, the bring, it's great when you see women. But it takes it to another level when you can just yes. have a group of men that don't even know each other, that's in the same community, come together and worship God. Mm -hmm. They will be able to hug and greet one another and be, build relationships, whether you be at Grace Christian Center or Kingdom Life or New Covenant or, a chop, or Excellent Covenant or a CHOP or uh, Liberty Christian. Doesn't matter. Or Grace Bible Church or First Baptist. Doesn't matter whether you're white, black, or Hispanic or Asian. It doesn't matter. The body is one body. That's right. And we are to come together in unity. That's why we're tried unity. Tried unity is that to bring the body of Christ together. That's good. Not separate. <laughs> <laughs> he got a fire. Oh, yes, I, I That's his it. passion. Yes, you could you could just, just tell. I'm I love sorry. It. No, 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 no. Don't apologize for that. I love it. I love it. I love it. We have about 40 seconds left. Any final thoughts? I do want to add one thing. Also, with the cost of the Gift Within program, uh, the cost is also going back into scholarships for next year. Yeah. So we do solicit for people to come out, to feel Colleen's Arts and Activity Center up to see the kids, and also that we can even give bigger scholarship, uh, scholarships out for next year. That's good. Yeah. Amen. It's just a blessing <laughs> to be a part of this community and just want to come alongside of local pastors and other ministries so we can just continue to have fellowship. <laughs> uh, well, elders, I want to take this time to say thank you all for being on the show and thank you for what you do. Thank you. Thank you, sir. There you've heard it. Thanks for tuning in today. That's our show. <laughs>